Welcome to Spotlight Advanced. I'm Liz Waid. And I'm Adam Navis. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. A woman is ready to give birth to her first child. She is very excited. As her job, she helped many different women give birth to their children. She knows all about the birthing process. But when her child is born, she is very surprised. Nothing prepared her for how her son would look. Today's Spotlight is on Nick Vujicic and his life without arms or legs. Nick Vujicic was born with a condition called Tetra Amelia Syndrome. He was born without arms or legs. Nick's parents, Dushka and Boris, worried about him. But Nick learned to do many things for himself, even as a baby. Fatherly is a website for fathers. There, Boris shared how they often had to change their ideas about what Nick could do. We learned early on with our son that it was not wise to think he could not do something or to place any sort of limits on him. Nick knew that his parents loved and supported him, but he also knew that he was not the same as everyone else. He could not run or play with them. Other children often made fun of him because he was different. They would say terrible things to him. He was very sad and lonely. He also had many fears. He was afraid that he would never be independent. He also worried that he was a problem for his parents. And when he thought about the future, he saw no purpose for his life. Nick did not think there was a reason to be alive. He even thought about killing himself when he was only eight years old. And then he tried to kill himself when he was 10 years old. Thinking of his parents stopped him from killing himself. He remembered how much they loved him. There were times when his parents did not know how to help him, but they always loved him, and they always told him that he had a reason for being alive. When Nick was about 15, he read a story in the Christian Bible. The story is about a man who was born blind. Jesus heals the man. Nick says this story changed his life. He knew that God had a plan for him. He wrote in his book, No one knew why the man was born blind. Jesus said it was so the works of God could be revealed through him. So at age 15, it was like God was telling me, you want me to give you my plan for your life, but it is not about that. Instead, Nick, do you trust me that I have a plan for you, even though you do not know what it is? As he grew older, Nick tried to be less worried about the future. He tried new things and concentrated on what he could do. He loved to play with his brother, sister, cousins, and friends. One of his favorite games was to sit on a board with wheels. He would then have his friends tie the board to their bicycles. They would ride as fast as they could, pulling Nick behind them. He also learned to do things for himself. He does not have arms or legs but he has part of a foot that is not fully grown. He calls it a small flipper because it is shaped like a part of a fish. 
He uses it to help him walk, write, use a computer, and do many other things. He can also roll himself places, and he can carry many different objects with his teeth or under his chin. For example, he can carry a stick under his chin and then use the stick to turn on a light. Nick Vujicic learned that being different can be difficult, but it is not hopeless. He shared some of the advantages with students in an interview on Young Post. He says, Many people with a disability may not be able to do what other people do, but they may have other abilities. Science has proved that if someone cannot hear well, they have other senses that work better, like touch. With my condition, there's nothing good about it. But at the same time, you can change your difficulties into new chances. My condition has helped me to have more courage, and it has helped me to be thankful for what I have. Vujicic noticed that many other people also feel different. He wanted to help them see the positive parts of their lives. So he began speaking in public when he was 19 years old. It then became his job. He wants to share one important message with every person he meets. On his website, he says, I have good times and bad times. We all do. Life does not get easier. It just gets more interesting. We all will experience different kinds of hard times. Trust God. Never give up. Live one day at a time. This is the best advice I can give you. Vujicic wants his life to bring hope to others. So he travels around the world to share this message. Today, Vujicic has traveled more than 5 million kilometers. He has visited more than 69 countries. Many people have heard his message, including Johnny Erickson Tata. Tata hurt herself in a diving accident when she was 17 years old. She is no longer able to walk or use her hands. But like Vujicic, she has hope. She shares on her website, Nick does not concentrate on what he lacks. He focuses on absolutely everything he is able to do with what he has. Vujicic has come a long way from the boy who wanted to kill himself. He still has hard times, but he wants people to know that they can face hard times in their lives. He does not know what other struggles he will face, but he thanks and trusts God every day, and he hopes others will do the same. Have you ever experienced something difficult in your life? How did you face that situation? Tell us about your experiences. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at radio at radioenglish.net. You can also comment on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash spotlightradio. The writer of this program was Lauren Anders Visser. The producer was Michio Ozaki. The voices you heard were from the United States, the United Kingdom, and New Zealand. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called Nick Vujicic, No Arms or Legs. Visit our website to download our free official app for Android and Apple devices. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.